Hello, hello, and good morning, friends. Welcome back to my kitchen. It is Allison. Today's going to be an exciting video because we are going to be cleaning and resetting our entire coffee bar. I take a lot of pride in that, guys, so I want to make sure that it looks good at all times. I also have an Instagram where I post all of my coffees and kitchen accessories and baked goods on, so that guy gets, gets a lot of use as well as, you know, everyday coffee. So it looks a little rough, so... Today's the day where we give it a little bit of TLC. Um, so let's go ahead and look at what we're working with, as well as I want to include a coffee recipe inside of this video. We're just going to do a cinnamon, cinnamon trill latte moment, and it's going to be so, so delicious, or I'm hoping. So let's go ahead and get started on cleaning our coffee bar. Okay, you guys, welcome to my coffee bar. So just looking at it it looks okay but it could definitely look better and it will look better um, seeing as these coffee beans need some refilling and my equipment in general just needs a little bit of TLC and this tiered tray has been used and abused so we need to wash that guy down too and just dust that print that I love over there so as well as this iconic splash of coffee on the wall that will need to get off but Let's go ahead and get started on cleaning this guy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the syrup out of these bottles, give them a good rinse, and then fill them back up. The problem is these bottles are so beautiful, but to be honest, they're not necessarily that functional. If you pour them out, only a little um, bit drops out at a time. And if you're not um, a super syrup lover, maybe that's the key to your coffee bar but for me I actually have to take the lids off to pour into my coffee before I even use them so let's go ahead pour these guys out rinse these off wash them off and refill them because this guy has peppermint in it that's that's practically gone already so it did the job for us this is vanilla and this is caramel so we'll just go ahead and refill those guys up and we'll think of someone uh, think of a new guy to put in here I'm thinking maybe white chocolate because that would be fun in a good good intermediate phase before um, Valentine's Day. Okay, let's go ahead and clean these guys.
Okay, you guys, now that the bottles are clean and drying or have dried, we can go ahead and fill them up. So previously what I had in there was salted caramel, vanilla, and peppermint, but always vanilla and salted caramel are the staples that I always have out because those are my favorite year round. And then the third one, I try to make more of a festive holiday seasonal type of a syrup. So that's why peppermint was previously in there. But now I'm thinking maybe we'll do right white chocolate because Valentine's Day is approaching. And then when we actually hit February, we can go ahead and put strawberry in there just to um, give that pink color that would look really nice in the syrup bottles. But for now, because it is still January, we'll go ahead and put white chocolate in the third syrup bottle.
right, you guys, she is all set, clean and pretty, and most importantly, ready to use. So we went ahead and filled up our beans, cleaned our Breville machine, as well as just filled up our bottles and put out a mug, a very basic clean mug as we wait for the holiday season. But I think it looks rather clean, which we all appreciate and love. Um, I had some people ask where I get my beans from, and they're actually beans from a local place um, where I live. They're just medium roast, but otherwise, I think it looks awesome. And let's go ahead and see if we can make some cinnamon churro lattes. Okay, guys, for the lattes, I was completely 100% inspired by these cinnamon churro cookie bites that I found from Target the other day. Joey and I saw these and immediately thought we could put them on a coffee um, because I was going to attempt to make churros, but I think they're a little too advanced for me. But anyway, I was going to, so these guys are really tiny. Let's see if I can pull one out. Look how little these guys are. They're so cute. So I was going to put one on top of the coffee as well as put some in a little bag, crush them up and then sprinkle some on top. How do you guys think that will look? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. So let's get to making this latte. I'm also going to be making it iced because I am in an iced coffee mood today. Mm -hmm. 